this August on Disney+. Plus. This month, our universe expands with Marvel Studios' I Am Groot. So get ready as Baby Groot takes center stage in its very own collection of five original shorts featuring several new and unusual characters. <laughs> and then go on vacation with Lego Star Wars Summer Vacation, in which Finn, looking for a much needed break from stormtroopers and TIE fighters, arranges a surprise vacation for his friends aboard the ultra luxurious galactic star cruise. Join us this month for these out of the world adventures. All these and more streaming this month only on Disney Plus. Are you worried about how you'll keep your kids busy all summer without letting them fall into the screen time trap? <laughs> well, look no further than Little Passports. Every month, Little Passports will send a kit packed with play-based activities, interactive crafts, puzzles, games, and stories to help kids have fun while they learn about the world around them. For listeners of the show, Little Passports is offering new customers 50% off your first month of any subscription when you go to littlepassports.com slash animal and use promo code animal at checkout. That's 50% off your first month of any subscription when you go to littlepassports.com slash animal and use animal at the checkout. Hello, Critter Protectors. Mr. Jim here and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. Our story today is about Tyler and Emma, who were the best of friends. They did everything together as the spring went on, Tyler would begin to change and time with Emma got less and less. But don't worry, Tyler is about to use a unique gift to protect Emma. It was a beautiful rainy day outside. Yeah, rainy days can be beautiful, especially if you're a tadpole. And Tyler was a tadpole living in a cozy little swamp deep in a forest in Australia. Tyler was a tree frog. You know, <laughs> he is actually called a Tyler tree frog. Have you ever heard of that? <laughs> Me neither. They are small, golden greenish, and have pads on the tips of their toes too. Oh, yep, yeah, you know it. Help them climb, because that's what tree frogs do. They're amazing climbers. And right now, Tyler is a tadpole. He loves swimming around, going on adventures, getting muddy, and exploring all his swamp had to offer. But he really loved it when his friend Emma the Bull Route would play with him. Do you know what a Bull Route is? Another name for them is a stonefish. They are dark colored, have large fins, and venomous spines. Oh yeah, you don't want to ever accidentally step on a stonefish. Those are super dangerous. But Emma, she was just a young fry. A fry is another word for a small young fish. She is small, just like Tyler, our tadpole. They played all kinds of games like 18, 19, 20, ready or not, here I come. Tyler called one day while playing with Emma. He searched high and low and finally... After many hours of searching, found her in the seaweed. I got you! Aw, oh, man, Tyler, you're so good at finding me, she said. And that's when she noticed something. Uh, Tyler, uh, your tail, it, it looks different today. Turn around. Tyler the tadpole spun around, and that's when he noticed the same thing. Ah, uh, you're right. Uh, my tail is way shorter than normal. And look at this. Uh, I'm trying to wiggle it, but it doesn't really work that well. Oh, no. I'm, I'm stuck in the seaweed. My tail, it can't even get me out. Help. 
He tugged and pulled, but couldn't get this very strange smaller tail unstuck. Emma tried to wiggle the seaweed to get him unstuck. Here, I'll try to help. Just hang on a second. She wiggled her body in the seaweed, and finally, Tyler was able to pop out. Wait a second. That's not a tail. That's, that's a leg. I have legs, shouted Tyler. He was right. It was all kind of confusing since he was stuck in the seaweed, and that thing that Emma saw was in fact not a tail. He had two legs forming, and they felt very differently. I think I would be pretty confused too if I all of a sudden had a new appendage just stick out from my body. What if, what if one day you woke up and there was, uh, you know, a, a, another arm sticking out, maybe out of your belly? <laughs> that would be pretty silly. I'm kind of glad that us people are born with all of the arms and legs that we're going to get. It's not like they just pop out one day. What about you? Would you rather be a person with normal person body parts or a fish like a tadpole who grows their arms and legs along the way? Through the next few weeks, he and Emma played less and less and he started spending more time hopping around with his new legs. He had grown legs and two arms with hands and was moving around on land with ease. And could breathe. Yeah, that's a big part of transforming from a tadpole into a frog. Tadpoles, they breathe water, kind of like fish. And But then when they turn into a frog, they get lungs and can <sighs> breathe air. It is pretty magical. And he quickly fell in love with being on land. He remembered how when he was little, he would hold his breath and poke his head out of the water to look around. But now he lives on land. What an incredible transformation. Do you know what that is called? What is it called when a critter starts off as an egg, hatches, swims around as a tadpole, grows limbs, then has lungs instead of gills and is able to live on land? I know that was a long question. It's metamorphosis. <laughs> Yes, metamorphosis is the process of a critter changing bodies, more or less. Uh, kind of like a caterpillar goes to a butterfly, or in this instance, a tadpole turns into a frog. That is called metamorphosis. But with all these changes, Tyler was its kind of sad. He was no longer able to swim like Emma the fish, and they started to enjoy different things. He felt kind of lonely and felt like he lost a friend. And he was a little frustrated and confused. Like, why did he change but not Emma? Will they ever be friends like they were? Will he ever see her again? And just then, two giant figures started to walk to where Tyler used to live. He saw them knelt down and start to talk about something. <laughs> He didn't know what they were saying. He didn't know how to speak human. He had heard about these giant critters before, but had never even seen one in real life. But then, all of a sudden, he saw them scoop up. Emma! shouted Tyler. Are you okay? Get out of that net! They're trying to kidnap you! Tyler couldn't believe it, and he felt totally helpless. But then he remembered something he could do to get the human's attention. What in the world is Tyler going to do? How can a tree frog like Tyler get their attention, and is Emma going to be okay? I'm not sure what's going to happen next. But we're going to have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. Great job! You listened all the way to the end. Wow, tree frogs are some pretty amazing critters. Have you ever seen a tree frog before? Oh, they're so cool. They're good jumpers, good climbers, and they sometimes have really big blink, blink eyeballs. 
All right, here's a would you rather question for you. Would you rather have sticky toe powers like tree frogs and can climb up a straight wall or breathe underwater just like Emma the fish? Hmm, I'm going to have to think about that one because both of those sound really cool. Well, you friends have a super duper day and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.